Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Hakim here talking to you from Moroccan Sahara. I hope wherever you are, whatever you do, you have a wonderful day. Sending you warm greetings from the Sahara. Today I'm going to take you to the Atlas Mountain all the way to Marrakesh. And we're going to learn about the Atlas Mountain culture and also their foods and their beauty too. So sit back, have a cup of tea and let's move. Our first stop was in the beautiful town of Tata, located in the fringe of Sahara Desert and Atlas Mountain, also the country of Algeria. The population for Tata is 18,000, and tourists use this town as a base for excursion in the area. Most of the people in Tata raise goat for meat and milk, and that is why I'm stopping in the small restaurant run by Fadila and Kafur, who say fresh stone cooked bread and goat butter for breakfast. so mesmerizing to watch Fadila cook. It's the simplicity make the food delicious. Handful of tomato from the market, dry them with a broken grater, add some common salt, chopped coriander, and of course, most important element for the omelette, eggs. herbs they use here for their cooking. They use it as a tea and also the elke. They get it from the tree called Sadr in the Sahara. They put it in the sheet too. 
Look at this humble Sahrawi breakfast. I really enjoy just watching Fadila preparing it. I've been everywhere in Morocco, but seen omelettes prepared this way, it's so amazing. It's so different too, because they cook tomato with herbs and also marinated olives and the cherry in the top, that's a goat butter. It's a great place to raise a goat and have a goat butter too. But let's dig in. Ooh. Every element in this omelet hit your sense. So joyable to have it. So amazing. The garlic, the coriander. Ooh, so amazing. Mm. This is an Atlas Mountain Olive. Let's have one. Ooh, so amazing, so amazing. All right, we'll come back to the omelette, but I'm so excited to taste the butter. A goat butter. Ooh. First you have it. The flavor hit your brain and they disappear. That's what the goat butter is. So amazing. And full of flavor. Full of flavor. This is so magical, and this is a moment you dream about. This is a Sahrawi breakfast. It was so delicious. So the music started, and excitement in this city is starting too, and I'm very excited to show you more about the Sahara and also Atlas Mountain. Let's do that. Later on, Fadila has accompanied me to the local market to show me what women from the villages around Tata are selling. Wow, that Sahrao breakfast in Tatat was so amazing and so delicious too. What we're gonna do, we're gonna start our journey all the way to Marrakesh through the Atlas Mountain from the Moroccan Sahara. But I wanna bring your attention to this tree. It's called Boja tree. Come here. It has a mango type fruit and grows throughout the Sahara. I saw them in the Saudi Arabia too, but they are very poisonous and even the camel avoid them. All right, let's start.
My friend, we're not in the Texas, we're not in the Route 66. We're still in the way to Marrakesh. But in your way, you come across this set up town for the horror and cowboy movies. Let me show you. The place is a magnificent place that's not to be missed in Uzarat. This place was set up to film the movie The Hills Have Eyes and the material and decoration is a journey into the world of this film. Uh, this is, looks like gold. This looks like something. But where is this thing? Anyway, there's no cold beer here. Let's move. So finally we're getting into Orica, very close to Marrakesh. And you know you're getting into Marrakesh because of the red soil. And that's what Marrakesh known. They call it the red Marrakesh or a Marrakesh Al Hamra. But as you drive through a lot of villages, a lot of ladies they baking bread in front of their houses. And I'm very excited to show you. I'm very appreciative for this fresh and delicious bread cooked by Aisha. Aisha is very old, but she has a very young heart. So this bread needs a good touching and I know where the place is. Let's go. As you wind your way toward Marrakesh, you come across a lot of restaurants cooking tajing and they are packed with tourism. But I'm bringing you to this place, quite hidden gem place. And Chef Omar, you're gonna put his expertise in show for us. Let me show you.
Wasn't this something amazing to see? I really enjoy just Chef Omar preparing the tajin. I deliberately came here because simplicity of making tajin. He didn't put a lot of spices and didn't complicate the tajin too. I'm looking forward to taste it too. This is called teamwork. I'm sure it will affect the flavor of tajin too. <laughs> Okay. It's <laughs> Yeah. Ah, The smell amazing and environment is great and sounds good too. The sounds coming from the river. Sitting here just remind me when I was working in my uncle's farm. He quietly disappeared and he come back with a masterpiece that speeds everyone and everyone enjoy it too. This tajin bring that memory and I can't wait to dig in. MashaAllah. Zwin. <laughs> This tajin is so delicious and I'm so grateful to sitting next to Haj Omar. What a great moment and cooking his masterpiece. So the meat cook very well, the vegetables so creamy, but going to Marrakesh, you can't miss having something in Marrakesh. Let's move on. the trip that was in my way after having that amazing and so delicious tajin cook with the chef Omar I was thinking should I take you to the tourist area of Jam Al Fana or bring you to somewhere to experience some kind of culture this trip is all about culture and I'm deliberately bringing you here because I used to come and eat my sweets so many times come and show you what Abdel Ghani has come here So this is Abdel Ghani and when I was living in Maraca I used to come here so many times and his sweet is so cheap and so delicious too and one of the favorite things close to my heart is the brewa. Look at this. It looks like a triangle sweet type but let's taste it and show you what is it. She covered with the sesame seeds and also stuffed with the almond. Wow, this is so delicious. I used to come here and stand for five and ten minutes and I just eat and eat and eat and even developed the balcony. Was balcony just like a big tummy. But I hope you enjoyed this episode. I learned so much. I learned a lot of recipe, taking home, cooking them and enjoying them. And also I learned a lot of culture too. So if you like this episode, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. And see you next time. Oh, yeah. Come on,